Hey guys, Russell 8326 coming at you. Today I'm going to be helping you with the Soda Stream Soda Maker. I picked this up for around $80, like $79.99. Uh, I saw them at Staples and Walmart. Two places I saw it. And maybe a kitchen store might sell them. Okay, anyway. First thing you have to do is put in this Soda Stream canister. And a word of warning. Don't throw this away. Take it back to get refilled because it's cheaper that way. Okay. There's going to be a little safety cap on the top of this golden nozzle. And all you have to do is take that off and you'll be ready to go. Putting the, it actually in is somewhat tricky. You go through the bottom here. And you shove it up through. And this little thing, I can't get it to stay. But there's little notches that clips in. I guess you have to be smarter than the actual machine, which I'm not. Oh, there it is. Okay. So when you put it in, you have to screw it in as tightly as possible when you can do it with your hand, don't worry. Okay, this little, I don't know if you can see it, this little nozzle right here is connected to that. So when you push on down on this, it pushes on this, and that's what gives you your CO2. Okay. Now, fill up the bottle. There's a line on it, so you know where to fill it up to. Should look like that, that much from the top, and then press in like this, and then screw in your bottle. Let me do that real quick. And it's kind of hard at first to do it with just one hand, but after you do it a couple times with both hands, it becomes really easy. Okay, so now it's locked in there, and. This machine really isn't the best because you have to agitate the water in order for the CO2 to combine with it, and so it stays in there better. So as you're pressing this, kind of just shake it a little bit, and in my opinion, it works a lot better that way. And before we use carbonate, I'm going to get to this. When you first buy it, it comes with uh, like samples, and one packet just goes in the entire thing, but if you buy a bottle like this, you have to fill up one of these. And what's really neat is, see it has this lip? So when you pour it in, it kind of catches it right there, you see? And so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so you just fill up one capful. Ooh. So that's just like your root beer extract. Okay, now back to this thing. Okay. I usually do one or two squirts and then I start shaking it, so. Ah, you see it? You can't see it. Sorry, my camera's not the best. Two, three. And if you just squirt it, it'll make a weird sound when it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna do it and shake it at the same time. Just so you can see that I actually do it. Okay, that should be good. And when you press this button, it sounds really neat. Listen. You hear that? Kind of like a... I don't know. I, and then I usually do like one more squirt, one or two. After you get this, either put on the cap really soon, or get your stuff ready and pour it in really soon. Because you don't want it to lose all the carbonation. Okay, just pour it in. Okay, once it's all in, even with that freaking thing, I still spill it. Oh well. Now you see how it's kind of floating around in there. You just need to, don't shake it. Just kind of like go like this, up and down, side to side. Cause that one will fizz really bad. When it's just water, it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of lets the gas go away. Okay, now you're done. You're ready to drink. Um, unless you like somewhat warm soda, chill it first, okay? Ten minutes will probably be good because if you use cold water, it'll be fine. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Check out my other videos. I hope you enjoyed.